Ooh, hey everyone, welcome to the next game we're playing. We're going through Borderlands 2. Hopefully. I mean, it's... It's not the best game to play alone, but... Is it really alone if I have people watching? The answer is yes. Um, so, a little bit of details. Borderlands 2 is a vulgar game. Violent game. And... Very comedic. It's a first-person shooter that typically you play with uh, two to four players, but since I'm lonely, I got one. And it's a it's a long game, so we may be strapping in for a while. So, I also got a criticism that maybe I should play with mouse and keyboard uh, from Borderlands, not Borderlands, from Portal 2. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick it out for the first few hours with mouse and keyboard and see how I feel. But let's so, get this started. You want to hear another story, huh? One where the very fate of Pandora hangs in the balance. If not too bad, I'm telling you anyway. First, there was the vault. An alien prison, open with a mystical key. To the warriors who opened it, the vault was just a container of tentacles and disappointment. They vanished into the wastelands, certain that the vault held no treasure at all. They were wrong. The vault's opening triggered the growth of Iridium, a priceless alien element. Soon, the rare and valuable mineral emerged all across Pandora. Its appearance attracted many, including the Hyperion Corporation. They came to Pandora to mine Iridium and bring order to the savage planet. Through their excavations, Hyperion uncovered evidence of an even greater vault. Their leader vowed to find it, to use its power to civilize the borderlands once and for all. But Hyperion weren't the only ones searching for the next vault's alien power. The call of danger and loot is not so easily resisted. Certain warriors came to Pandora in droves to uncover its hidden secrets. Some would call them adventurers. Others call them fools. But I call them vault hunters. Our story begins with them. And with a man named Handsome Jack. Oh, man. This is good. I wonder if I'm going to get copyright strike for the music that's about to play. Huh. Um. It's actually a really good question. I hope not. I shouldn't, right? You know what, while this is a great opening, I'm not going to risk it, so uh, I recommend that you guys just go look up the opening, because I don't know if I'm allowed to show it or not, so we're just going to skip on through. Sorry about that, trust me, I wanted to watch it just as much as you did. Here we go, so we got the original four characters that you can pick from and then I also have some of the DLC so I have Gage and I also have Krieg or maybe I don't have Krieg why are you popping up I might not have Krieg um, so Axton Axton basically what his thing is he he throws a turret and it helps you the first time I played through the game, that's who I played as. Zero is more of an assassin. His special ability lets you to like disappear, leave a hologram kind of thing. He's either very up close melee or very far away sniper. Axton's more just middle ground. Maya is a siren, which means she has special powers that can like lock people into one place, make them explode or drain life from them. Uh, while they're locked in and she's 
mid to close range, I think. And then this is Salvador, the Gunzerker, who his special ability is he will fire two guns at once. And it could be like two rocket launchers or any mixture with it. So, and he's more of a heavy class. Gage, I'm not too sure of. I'm probably going to end up playing as her. Uh, she, I know she can summon... She's called the Mechromancer, and she can summon a robot to help you. And I think that would be more useful than a turret that stays locked down. Having a robot that can move around the battlefield. So. Uh, head. Let's see. Got her normal ponytails. A hat. I'm not, not a fan of that. Really not a fan of that. No, well, that's just fucking creepy. Nope. Uh, I think we're just gonna stick with normal gauge for right now. And we are going to go. Uh, I'm liking the blue and green. That's a little bit too much blue. That's. Wow. I, I forgot how many different color schemes that I have. Oh, no, we're going on that one. The name. Uh, you know what? We're actually going to go with Gage Dancer. There we go. Just part of the Dancer family. And... Now we're good. Just so you know, that opening sequence is us on a train uh, trying to get Handsome Jack. He blows up the train. We end up here. Wait a minute. You're not dead! Yes! Now I can get off this glacier. Claptrap, your metaphorical ship has finally come in. Allow me to introduce oh, myself. Trap. I am a CL4P TP steward bot, but my friends call me Claptrap. Or they would if any of them were still alive, or had existed in the first place. Oh, Poor thing. I've got something for you. I love Cla Claptrap. I know Here, many people who take hate him. this it. echo communicator that I totally didn't lose from one of these corpses. It comes with a Class 12 heads-up display, complete with a mini-map. Now, come come, friend. Let's get you inside. Come Man. come. Oh, yeah, I may have some... Now that I've met a mighty boss, I have some bonuses that are probably going to pop up. Okay. Uh, first things first. Let's go ahead and change that mouse sensitivity. That's a little bit too... too high for me. That can work. I'll explain everything soon, but know this. You're alive for a reason. And I am here to help you. Thank you, Vision Lady. Uh, so yeah, Borderlands. It has a unique art style that is uh, comprised of cell shading. Which is why everything has these harsh outlines. And then again, a lot of people don't like the look of it. I love it. Oh, also, like, today's... I'm recording this on March 26th. And... I believe on March 28th, Gearbox Studios, the guys who make Borderlands, have an announcement and people are getting excited thinking that it may be a teaser for Borderlands 3, which is in part why I'm recording this video. You know, I just realized that this is the second game in a row with a sassy, um, or snarky robot. And open. You have mail. Just a little added security. Got to keep those bully mongs at bay, or they'll rip your eyes out. Gotta love the person who keeps one dollar in a locker. Really shows that they value money. Okay. So what do we Sorry got? About the mess. Another dollar. He dumps here. Bandits, vault hunters, claptrap units. 
If I sound pleased about this, it's only because my programmers made this my default tone of voice. I'm actually quite depressed. Aren't now, we all? The Ooh. creatures around here are dangerous. None more than this bully bong named Knuckle Dragger. Kill everyone I know. Anywho, I keep a pistol in the cabinet over there for emergencies. But in here, we should be pretty safe. I would like... I would like to be able to explain things, Clawtrap. Man. Is that what Thor felt like? Cool. The gun! The gun in the cabinet! Calm down, I'm trying to... Okay, so this symbol right here, this is the logo for Borderlands, if you haven't caught on to that by the opening. And these are hidden throughout the world. And when you discover them, you can then go in here to this nice little uh, section called Badass Rank. You can see I've played the game before a little bit. So Badass Ranks give you these bonuses. And since I've played so much, I have quite a hefty bonus. Uh, there is no way to undo these as far as I'm, as far as I know. So unfortunately, I'm not starting from from ground zero. But it happens. Anyway, so we can then redeem tokens and choose a reward. So I'm gonna choose gun accuracy. So now I have plus 0.5% gun accuracy added onto that and each one you do uh, gives it a little bit less so the first one may give you plus one percent maximum health the next one will be like plus 0.8 and so it's not like you can just keep going forever but yeah and then these are all the challenges that you complete in order to to get it so like kill five drifters or kill fan boats and stuff like that this is your skill tree will explore that later when we get our first skill point which doesn't happen until level five I think okay apparently I'm a member of the premier club uh, I will start with a vault hunters relic and a collection of gearbox manufactured guns okay so unfortunately I am starting with stuff plus five percent rare loot chance that's it's not too game changing as far as I know then I have an assault rifle an SMG and a sniper, which I'm going to go ahead and change out the assault rifle for. And then here's all the ammo I have down here, the map, and my quests. There we go. I think I've explained all that I need to explain. Anything else over here for me to take? Oh, that's my money now. I want to know why he has a bathroom. I hope the clicking isn't too annoying. That's partially why I didn't want to do... Um, get a one. Yay. Collect reward. Once upon so, a time, cool. four vault hunters changed Pandora forever. But their time has passed. Thanks to Handsome Jack, Pandora needs a new hero. I know that hero is you. Apart from the At least someone has confidence in me. This is great! I've been waiting for a mighty vault hunter to help me reach sanctuary! I will be your wise leader, and you shall be my fearsome minion! <laughs> Thanks, bud. Um, yeah, anything with a green growing, growing, a uh, glowing light like that will... Oh, I don't like that. I need to change that immediately. Uh, gameplay. Weapon aim toggle off. There we go. There we go. I want to be able to hold it down. I don't want to get stuck in a aiming down the sights when all of a sudden someone can come and attack me. But yeah, uh, I was a little worried about the clickety clackety at the keyboard. So, I guess we'll have to see how we'll, how that goes. Oh, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to end up recording today. I'll probably do like two or three. Uh, so unfortunately, if 
you guys don't like that, it will be a little bit. You didn't see that. But um, I'll wait until the first one comes out and see how everyone reacts to it. I will say I am one of the person, one of the people who just goes around and explores everything, or almost everything. So, uh, hold on. I loot a lot, but that also means I'm almost never in need of any resources, except for health, because I I get hit quite a bit. Oh, enemies! I hear bully bots. Second minion. Now, this... Okay, stop cutting me off. I would like to be able to, to play. This is the benefit of playing with mouse and keyboard. It is so easy to hit everything. I say as I miss. Hey, could you just wait? There we go. So yeah, there are critical hits in the game. You just have to... Usually it's the head, or they may have some glowing part. It's typical video game stuff. Uh, there's no looting of dead bodies, like searching them. It's just the stuff will come flying out of them, and you'll see it. You'll need that funny little robot's help to reach Sanctuary, the last bastion of the resistance against Jack. And the only place you'll be truly safe. Get to sanctuary. So long. <laughs> Farewell. Ah! Hey! What's that noise? Are you fighting? I think getting crits also is part of getting badass points or badass ranks, so. Let him go to you. Yeah, it's really easy to snipe on um, computer. The mouse is so accurate compared to the joystick of a, of a console controller. Now we have a skin. Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's a skin for one of the cars that you can drive in a little bit. Oh, my eyes are switched back on! I see a tough-looking minion and an incredibly Ooh. handsome robot. I also remember why I don't play keyboard and mouse. My forearm's already starting to cramp. But it does keep me closer to the uh, mic, so you guys may be able to hear, hear me a little bit clearer. I like, I like how you already turned it into a necklace. I sh See, the problem with this is I shouldn't have a gun this good already. This, this gun, this pro- blah, blah, blah. This fight should be a little bit more problematic, but it's not. I think there's a challenge to shoot those out of the air. I forget how to fight. Okay. Um, you just leveled up. Cool. That means nothing for a little bit. It's a general word that people use. Oh, well. So, looks like that um, that relic that I have is already coming into use, apparently. Got my eye? Great. 
Are, okay. Something I have to explain. You'll see in the names of these guns. This name is in white, the gearbox calipine, but this one's in orange. That's how you determine rarity. So the rarity scales goes white, green, blue, purple, orange. And so white being the most common, as you can see over here, blue being mid common, and then orange being legendary. And with the more the higher rarity, the higher the price that you can get for selling it. Put it back into me. But as I'm sure you'd like to jam your fist into my skull, optic surgery is best slapped to professionals. My pal Hammerlock in Lyersburg can fix me up. I'm on C. I love Sir Hamlock. I promise I don't promise. Maybe after this game, uh, I'll play one that I haven't played before. That way I don't know what's coming. But for the first two one or two games I played, I really wanted to have comfort in how the game was played and knowing the game so I can get used to talking while playing. And then I'll start jumping into games I don't quite know. Does that make sense? Hmm. Uh, Claptrap. Well, it was nice knowing you. I hear getting eaten alive by bully bogs isn't such a bad way to go. Let me get that for you. Executing phase shift. See, I can make those noises too. Of being an artificial intelligence, I'm networked into almost everything on this planet. It's a long way to sanctuary. Yeah, but Please why are you talking to me? For the journey ahead. find new gear that is definitely not as good as the ones I already have because pay to win apparently oh. okay it's a shotgun I mean I'll take it so I can sell it when you're ready to go meet with Sir Hammerlock minion I'm ready so yeah you can see the XP bar down at the very bottom that blue blue line tells you how far we are into the game not into the game into the level so we're almost two segments into level two Keep and there are ten segments you, per level this glacier is run by abandoning captain Flint. the jerk kept me as a torture play thing for a few months we play games like dodge the blowtorch and don't get dunked into the pool of acid i was really good at the first one Attention, people of Pandora. Handsome Jack here, Oop. offering a million bucks I forgot. to whoever brings me the head of the bolt like hunter who just arrived in Liarsburg. Oh, and I'm still offering a reward for Roland, the mass murdering leader of the Crimson Raiders. Good hunting, bandits. Okay, let me reload. That should be fine. Yeah, I found that for single player stuff, keeping your distance is largely Fox. beneficial All right, boys, this is meaning I could probably because they have no chance of of hitting me from all the way out there meanwhile I could just pick them off because the next portion is I go in there and fight all of them so if I could just go ahead and help clear the battlefield then I'm good to go I also don't think there's fall damage in this game, which is nice. I could just jump off whatever the hell I want. Give me that money. I can't get in there. I have to go around here. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize that was that kind of gun. Oh, this is it's a really good gun. I feel I feel bad for using it. So there are guns called elemental guns. Oh, it's single fire if I'm not aiming. Got it. Um, this is an elemental gun, uh, which is acid. Judging by the green, everything of the gun. Um. 
and wet acid. Each element has like its own thing that's special against. Acid is really good against robots, which we won't be fighting for a while. So it's not useful yet, but even then, it's still high damage enough to just demolish everything in my path. And then you can see those guns that have the red uh, panels. That just means that not a high enough level to use them yet. Oh, that's how I've, I figured out how to punch people. We're good. Can you turn on the power to the machine so I can sell stuff? I knew Hammerlock would come around eventually. Me and him are like two peas in a pod. Two bolts in a bag. Two cannibal visits in a fat guy's ribcage. Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. I understand that. A pleasure to meet you, Volt Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock. Hunter, scholar, gentleman. At your service. I came out here to research the bully moments for my almanac, but Captain Flint's men trapped me on this glacier. Many thanks for disposing of them, by the way. To survive a direct run into Handsome Jack and defeat Captain Flint's bandits, I'm proud of. I'm headed to Sanctuary myself. From what I hear, the Flint's and Raiders there could use a bit of like you. Now, you could hand me the robot's eye. Oh, that's right. I can't just run around doing stuff. I actually have to do stuff. Cool. You do you. Aha! I can sell stuff. I really don't care about those. I care about the money more. Perfect. And none of that I care about. Oh, so when you sell stuff, you can also buy it back. Granted, for a little bit of an increased price, but in case you make a mistake, it's not like forever. Man, that's a far sight. Just spent five dollars for that too. What a rip off. Oh, I think I just got a shield. Oh, I'm not level 3. But what shields do is they obviously shield you. So this capacity of 68. You'll see the numbers whenever I shoot someone come up. That's how much damage I'm doing. So this will block 68 damage. And then once it's depleted, if I don't get hit for 1.94 seconds, then it'll start recharging uh, at 15 units per second. So it'll take me just over four and a half seconds ish to recharge the shield the shield again. I think I'm all looted out here. And I wasn't paying attention. But luckily that mini map in the top right corner tells me where I'm supposed to be going. Let there be light. Ah. Man, look at him go. Can I play darts? Come on, work, curse you! Ah, oh, fecal matter. The bounty board's broken. The resistance must have disconnected it when they left the sanctuary. I plan to post some jobs for you. It's not called oh, cheating, well, just either. Speak to me instead. Rigging, yeah! So this one has a higher capacity, but a in a higher recharge rate, but a much longer time until it so goes to recharge. Enjoying life. Town used to have a spectacular amount of hustle land for bustle for its denizens fled the sanctuary. Which one am I using? I'm using the high one with three charge. Got it. I'm fine with that. Most of us anyway. Captain Flintsman killed anyone who stayed. 
There's only room for one deadly bipedal ape descended spe Ugh. deadly bipe bipedal ape descended species in Liarsburg. No, Captain Flint. Thank you. I both like and don't like how they make you wait so you actually have to read some of it. So now we can go through and select missions. Oh, I haven't discovered that yet. That's uh, audio logs. We'll do that in a second. Liarsburg, I see no reason that wild bully mongs should lollygag about the place, disrespecting the memories of the former town. Well, let's go. Clear the tower. That would be most disgusting. The objectives on your HUD pertain to your active mission. You can change your active mission by using the mission log in your Echo device. That's one area free of bully cool. mongs. Yeah, this gun makes it a little easy. Oh, I never finished explaining the whole elemental thing. So there are different kinds of elemental guns. There's corrosive, um, which is what I'm using. Lightning, which is self-explanatory. Fire. What else is there? There's slag, which slag then... Uh, makes bullets do more damage if it affects the enemy. So, along with your elemental gun, you have something called elemental effect chance. Which means there's a certain chance percentage on the gun to apply it. So the corrode chance is 15%. And with my badass rank, that brings it up to 21%. So, it could be estimated that one out of every five bullets will affect the um, enemy with corrosion. And then the corrosion does 10.2 damage per second, plus an extra 6.8%, which I'm not going to do that math. But, yeah. So that's how it works. And I'm sure there's other elemental stuff that I'm just forgetting. I'm not quite sure of their intellectual prowess, but you never know how far they can go. So let's pick up this gun. We'll go turn in the mission, get the gun that he's offering us as a reward, and then I think we will sell stuff and call it a video then. Make Captain Flint's death as prolonged as possible, would you? Quite the douche he is. If Quite you the to survive douche, I'm sure. For any length of time, you'll need a better shield. I humbly suggest paying a visit to the old Crimson Raider safe house. You'll need to take the elevator. Perfect. When you think murder, That's what we'll do next time. So we're going to sell that, 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 that. It does let you sell what you're using, which kind of sucks sometimes. But you know, it's your fault if you misclick. Good luck. So that's where we're going to call it there. Uh, this next time, I think we're going to try to discover this quest, which is in this area. And we'll go from there. So I hope you guys had a great time. Don't forget to please leave a comment with any suggestions or just any impressions of the video. Uh, like it if you want. Don't like it if you want, I guess. I asked that you don't, but I just asked that you did too. You know, it's it's an uphill battle right now. Anyway, have fun, be safe, make new friends, and don't do drugs. <laughs>